Well, what is going on everybody and welcome to another episode of Tyler's Real Fishing. Today, I'm continuing my underwater series. Now, it is not a, do bass eat this underwater? It is, what do bluegills eat when they're spawning underwater? So, I'm here at a golf course pond. Some guys are actually hitting off the, uh, off the tee up there right now, but I'm gonna stick the GoPro down on some bluegill beds in some super clear water and uh, see what we can catch on camera. Let's get started. All right, so fair warning, I have not uh, fished for bluegills specifically very often. And so I looked around my garage and I saw they had this box of it looks like bluegill and panfish lures. We have some tiny little jig heads there and a bunch of tiny tubes and minnows. And so I'm gonna rig some of those up on my Luz TP1 speed stick spinning rod. It's the uh, drop shot shaky head special. There we go, drop shot finesse shaky head special. It is I believe a 6.9. It is a 6.9 medium light. And I have uh, Luz tournament speed spin on there with some 10 pound fluorocarbon. I wish I had something less than 10 pound, but I live in Texas and we often don't need uh, less than 10 pound fluorocarbon. And then we do some frog fishing later in case the bluegills don't bite. But let's get rigged up and go underwater. All right, so that fish didn't seem to care for my uh, little white shad imitator one. We're gonna switch to like a yellow or a pink, see if that gets him. My good old, my good old buddy Clark Manis told me that bluegill are a lot more picky when it comes to colors than bass are. So let's give this yellow neon chicken color a try and see what we can get. Well, that fish is stubborn. Goodness gracious. One more color change. Goodness gracious. I've never seen just such a stubborn bluegill before. Wow. Oh, we got some golfers coming. Gotta watch out. <laughs> I caught a bass. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh boy, wrong way. Wrong way. Get out of there, big boy. Come on. <laughs> That's hilarious. I was looking at these bluegills and all of a sudden my line starts running. I wasn't even facing down at the camera, but uh, cool. Little bitty guy. He ate the uh, he ate the tiny grub. Hopefully it's a cool thumbnail of some kind, but nice golf course little bass here. These people are teeing off and, uh, and hitting, but cool. All right, see you a little bite. Well, got more luck catching bass like I always do than, uh, than bluegill. All right, so basically all the tactics that I've tried to catch this bedding bluegill so far are uh, jigging it up and down in front of its face, away from its face, uh, letting it sit on the bottom. What else have I done? I've hit it repeatedly in the head and the tail like I do a bass, and nothing works so far. Um, the fish hasn't really, I mean, he doesn't move all that much. He just kind of sits there. And like, I'll, I'll put it right next to his face and jig it, and he won't even make a concerted effort to check it out. So I'm not sure what to do, but we're gonna figure it out. I might call my buddy Nick, the informative fisherman here in a second. All right, so we have switched beds here. I uh, haven't given Nick a call yet, but I will probably soon in case I can't catch this fish, but this one seems more catchable. So let's see what it looks like. It's polarized, 
sunglasses. That was cool. <laughs> Two of them came at it. Two bluegill just came out of nowhere. I'm gonna get it at this cast, I know it. What? Oh, ah, did I foul hook him? Ah, I might have foul hooked him. Man. <gasps> no, I did not. He ate it. Oh my goodness. I caught him, I caught him. Wow, what a beautiful, beautiful fish. Look at that, he's peeing at me. That is cool. I don't know a proper way to hold a bluegill. I think that's that's the proper way or something. But got him on the on the little jig. Wow, right in the mouth. All right, little buddy. We're gonna get you off the tree here, line. Nope, we're not. We're just gonna unhook it. Wow, that's cool. Beautiful, beautiful panfish. Never been so jacked to catch a, a bluegill in my life before. I think it's a bluegill. It could be red ear. Comment below what this is. I have not done a whole lot of uh, multi-species fishing, but that's cool. Wow. All right, I love it. Woohoo! All right, see you, hombre.
Well, everybody, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Uh, I know it wasn't as instructional as some of my other underwater videos, but I still had a blast sticking the camera down there. Once again, I thought that my season was over for underwater footage and uh, catching some bluegills on camera. Sadly, I didn't get any more catches on camera. I did catch one or two other bluegills, but I uh, put the cameras away because it started to rain. But if you guys enjoyed, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to this channel. I've got a lot of cool content coming from both, you know, the bass and non-bass uh, fishing sides of things. So we'll see you guys next time on the next episode of Tyler's Real Fishing.